stand over here right in front of the window because it's so gloomy outside that the lighting is just not it. This is what it looks like outside. It's still snowy. But yeah, we're going to make some breakfast. <music> It's not to figure out what's up with her, it's for ourselves. We need appointments for that. <laughs> <laughs> Najee is currently out doing an inspection, so I thought this would be a cool time to just kind of sit and have a little chat. I haven't really filmed a vlog style video consistently in such a long time. But honestly, I feel like I'm really proud of myself because I've been posting a lot more than I think I have ever posted on my channel. So that's really fun. I really enjoy my gameplay videos, even though I have not recorded a gameplay in like a week or two. So I actually really want to do that today. I think that's one of the videos that I want to film today. They're just standing in front of the car, so whatever. Um, earlier today, it was sunny, and I thought it would be like really nice to kind of film some cozy outfits, um, especially with the snow in the background. But if I'm being completely honest, the outfits that I was trying on just made me look like a Roblox character. That's actually how I felt. I felt like I just looked so boxy and it just was not cute and it wasn't making me feel good. So I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, but some days like one outfit could make me look really great and confident and feel good. And then I can wear that same exact outfit on a different day and it's just, I'm just not feeling it. So that's what was just happening today. And not only that, but it's snowing again. So it would have just been really inconvenient. I really want to film like things that I find interesting to watch. So I really like watching what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week. So I feel like I kind of want to film them but I need to figure out the lighting in the kitchen because we don't have great lighting in the kitchen. The only window that we have, I mean, we have a window to the side of the kitchen, but that doesn't really allow much light to enter. And then we have like kind of just a small window where the sink is. So the lighting is not that great in the kitchen. It's kind of dim and I just need to like figure out how to adjust the lighting so that way you know it looks it looks appetizing what we are potentially making for dinner today though is some nashville chicken sandwiches which i am so excited for i'm excited for the coleslaw i love coleslaw i actually only like coleslaw the way my sister has made it restaurant coleslaw i just feel like it's very sweet i don't prefer sweet coleslaw but I love the way my sister makes it, mashallah, it's so delicious, and I'm so excited to try it and to make it myself for the sandwiches. Also, this would be a great time to shout out Douche Douche, and if you know, you know. Shout out to you, I love you, thank you for watching my videos, and for supporting my channel. Yeah, um, I have my sunglasses in my backpack. But I don't have my backpack. It's like the lighting is getting just straight and then it kind of makes... It's almost golden hour. Or is this considered golden hour? Golden hour is sunset. But it's like the last little piece before sunset. Yeah, it's like sunset time. I mean, like it's when the sun is setting. 
probably would, but it's like then you're. <laughs> you <gonna> probably <laughs> would. <laughs> well, like, it's the bumpy roads of Ohio. Yeah. I, but I just feel like then you're gonna have this huge. Make sure you put this in the vlog. <laughs> yeah, sure. If we do have something up here, then it's just gonna be like a really annoying thing, like right in the middle of the windshield. I get it. Don't you miss having a seafood boil? I feel like. 50% of our conversation is food because I feel like I'm hungry so much. Yeah, um, honestly, I can go without it for a while. I'm just <sighs> saying I could. Well, I know because you'll probably shrivel up and just this lay vlog in bed. Is done. This vlog, it's over. <laughs> this vlog is probably going to end with us making a seafood boil. No. Yesterday, I was explaining to everyone that we were going to make Nashville chicken sandwiches and we didn't because we got home a lot later than we thought we would. Correct. And we didn't we didn't do any preparing except for taking out the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, I think that's going to so be proactive. I think that's going to be a part of today's journey. Are me and Najee matching? Wait, show your shirt. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember National Security in the movie? Okay, yeah. With Mark Lawrence and the other guy. He was like, he was like, man. He said, I love going to the car wash. He was like, you know, soapy water all over the place, brushes waving in the breeze. He said, when you a kid in the ghetto, it's like going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I miss about California is just having bomb lighting almost year round. And over here, you can literally see in the video, the sun is just getting covered up by clouds. But I'll show you how it looks outside. Very pretty. Anyways, I'm literally holding the curtain. I mean, Oh, that looks fine. Um, I'm talking in a little bit of a quiet voice because my baby is asleep. It's so loud outside. Anyway, so as you saw before, I completely forgot <laughs> to record the actual process of making the chicken. Like, after... Neji was done. I was like, oh my god, I did not even record anything. But it tasted so delicious. Oh, look at the sun. So on Instagram, I actually posted a like get to know me slash QA box, and a few of you asked me some questions. So I'm really excited to answer those because we do have some new friends. Um, yeah, should I just do it right now? Should we just do a chill get to know me? I think so. First question, how old are you? I'm 24 years old. It still kind of feels a little strange saying that because I don't feel 24. I mean, I don't know what age I do feel, but it's like, yeah, I'm 24. Next question, someone asked, what made you decide to go with the cozy vibe? So I've always been into candles, lighting, just like a very moody, cozy feeling like I just I love that um I love you know having my area kind of like set up before I like start enjoying whatever it is I'm enjoying um I've been into it for years and now I'm just kind of starting to 
appreciate and show it off more, I guess. All right, next question is favorite time of year. So of course, my favorite time of year is gonna be fall followed by winter. I love, 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 love cold weather. I do not thrive in heat or summer weather. I feel like I just get very irritated. Um, and I just love snuggling up and feeling like cozy and I love wearing oversized things. So the next question is, how long have you been gaming? I'm not really sure how to answer this question because I've technically played games since I was a little kid. That was kind of our, you know, like way to have fun when I was little. Like I remember me and my brother would play on the Nintendo, I don't know which one it was, but we would play like Mario on it and we had an Xbox and we'd play like a lot of Mortal Kombat and Call of Duty. It was a very social activity in our household. So I've been doing it since I was little, but becoming like a quote unquote gamer person, um, I didn't really start experimenting with that until recently. So I had to move the curtain out of my way. Every time the sun comes out, I have to <laughs> adjust it or else it looks like I have lines on my face. But yeah, um, becoming like a quote unquote gamer type content maker person, um, that wasn't until recently. I just kind of started experimenting with it and I don't know, I'm just enjoying the type of content. All right, next question. Someone asked, favorite drink when you're getting cozy? So if I had to choose my favorite cozy drink, like a drink that I just think of and it makes me feel like I'm in a cozy mood, it would definitely be matcha. I love it and I recommend it. It's so good. Someone asked, book your reading right now. So I'm currently not done with the first Hunger Games book. I still need to finish it. I recently finished reading this book all this time which I have been struggling to finish because it was so corny. I feel like I give that book a one out of five stars. After I finish the Hunger Games book, I really want to read Never Saw Me Coming. Oh, I'm so excited to finish that, but I really want to finish the Hunger Games first. I might start them at the same time, but my goal was to read two books per month. So I still have a few days of January left. Last question, someone asked, how does it feel being a mom? Um, I am a mom. I have one baby. Um, and it feels overwhelming. It really does. I wish that I had certain advices given to me before, um, I became a mom because I just feel like it's been a very emotional roller coaster. Um, but I love it, <laughs> obviously. Um, I love my baby. All my free time. I don't know what I did with all that free time before him. <laughs> but, yeah, I just can't imagine my life without him. I love it. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to share certain moments with him and to just adventure. Thank you to everyone who asked me some questions and who wanted to get to know me and who's watching this video right now. I'd love it if you could press the subscribe button if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. Hi everyone, so today was a pretty chill work day kind of mood. Um, Najee gets off of work later today, so I didn't really have much of an opportunity to work on like filming or content. So today I pretty much worked on appraisal, I designed a business card for Najee and just cleaned up a little bit, took care of my baby, but yeah, that was pretty much today's 
day. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.